Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial on creating custom object classes in Objective-C. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the iOS SDK, but uh, it applies to uh, when creating Mac apps or anything like that. So, I'm going to open up Xcode and create a new project. create a single view application call it and make sure you're using storyboards and automatic reference counting uh, counting so the first thing you want to do is right click on your um, project folder or group Click new file, create a new Objective C class. Make sure that it's a subclass of NS object. We'll call this person. This will create you a new header file and a new implementation file. Um, I always like to use the assistant editor. So let's go ahead and First of all, what we're going to do is add some properties to our new class. So, it, uh, and also, we're going to be creating a person. So, you know, a person has a name. I'm going to add an NS string name. And actually, what we'll do is we'll add a first name. <coughs> now obviously these could be anything but for the purpose oops, these could be anything but for the purpose of the tutorial we're just going to keep it simple and create a basic person and what we're also going to do is create an initializer method so we're just going to return an ID, which will be the person. Init with first name. First name. With last name. Last name. We're also going to create a method for our uh, custom object and this method is going to describe the person as a string so I'm just going to return an ms string and we're just going to call it description okay now we're going to go ahead and implement those two methods in here so i'm assuming you understand uh, objective c methods if you don't, you should probably check out another tutorial before trying to follow this one. So, first of all, we'll implement it with first name. And all we're going to say is self equals super dot oh, super int and self dot first name. Name. Self dot last name equals last name. And what that's basically doing is assigning the past parameters to the current instance of person. Um, and this allows us to create and set up an object without having to write extra code uh, everywhere that we actually do that. So finally, we're going to return self. And that's our initializer implemented. Finally, we're going to implement our description method which is return type ns string description and we're going to return an ns string we're going to use the string with format method and it's going to be we'll just do something like last name co uh, comma first name like you'd get in an address book so Again, I'm going to assume you understand how string with format works. So 
that's a very simple method. It just returns a, a formatted string containing the two properties, uh, which gives a good representation of the object. Um, so that's the basics of creating a very simple object with two properties, an initializer, and a method. Um, just to test that it's all working, we're going to go to our view controller. And actually, no, we'll go to our storyboard first. And we'll make sure we've got um, ellipses. We'll make sure we've got a way of displaying. My resolution is terrible. Make sure we've got a way of displaying uh, that person. So we'll just drag a label on. Once we've got our label, ooh, I'm running out of space here. Once we've got our label, we will make sure we're on our view controller.h. And we're just going to create an outlet by control, click, and drag. And we'll call this outlet um, person. Now we're going to need to instantiate a uh, an instance of person. So I'm going to go ahead and say, oh, actually, first of all, <laughs> what we'll need to do is import a reference to the header file, and .h, and then we're going to say person p equals Our init method we created earlier, init with first name, and his first name is going to be James. Um, init with um, first name with last name. Rush. That creates a new person for us, and then finally, we're going to call the description method and assign the value to the label on the view. So going to say self dot person label dot text equals p which is our instance of person description so let's test that go to the iPhone simulator let's play just gonna give it a second to fire that up As you can see, it's pulled in the description string that we set up in our method of Rosh, comma, James. Um, and there you have it. That's how to create a basic object um, inherited from the NS object class with a couple of properties, a method, and an initializer. Thanks for watching.